Oh, welcome back to the new video, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'm sorry for my microphone in the previous video. I, I, I'm an idiot. There's really no other way to say that. But yo, the spoilers are for Black Clover Chapter 333. We need to be extra quiet because a lot of shit is going on. Guys, this chapter is 17 pages long. It is extremely word heavy. There's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of flashbacks fleshing out Lucius's character and his relationship exactly to Julius. Uh, so for literally no fight in this chapter, 17 pages is huge. We're not going to have the full context until Friday when we get the fan translations, but oh my God, it looks like it's going to be fucking amazing so with that being said we're gonna do the best we can to see what is happening in this chapter be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let's just jump straight into it all right yo jumping straight into it the title of this week's chapter is the savior and the flaw of the world now you can obviously guess who's the flaw of the world, the only person in the universe born without magic. Yes, of course, it's Asta Labi. Fuck, we still don't know his second name. Anyway, Julius is apparently the savior of the world, or should I say Lucius. The first thing before we get into the pages we currently have, it is now confirmed Julius and Lucius are different people. They are different souls. Julius has his own memories. Lucius apparently has his own memories as well. The first panel is actually them both pointing to each other. So this is very much like, I'm assuming, William. But at the end of the day, I need more information to make a correct statement on it. We need to wait into the official translate or the fan translations on Friday and the officials on Sunday. It looks like Lucius instantly warps time and space freezing everybody in time we got noel mimosa secre obviously sister lily the birds frozen in time lucius is about to touch asta once again destroying asta like he did with damnatio but asta is able to react because he has anti-magic flowing in his body he is not affected by time anymore libe hops on his shoulder they counter uh, Lucius's spell, Asta instantly goes into uh, a black form, I wouldn't call this double union form, it doesn't look to be a double union form, it looks like base, base black Asta form, but with double wings, it looks super cool, uh, they start to have a conversation, and Asta unleashes a massive wave of anti-magic, and the chapter ends with Asta going into devil union, right here and now, I'll surpass the Wizard King. Asta cancels Lucius' spell, holds the Demon Dweller in one sword and the Demon Slasher in the other, and he's about to face off against Lucius. Chapter end, break next week. No, dude, no, no. Break next week, fuck. That's just not fair. Black Clover just came back, that's just not fair. That's racist. That's actually racist. But yeah, spoilers will be back in two weeks, not next week, the week after, unfortunately. It's a very, very dialogue-heavy chapter. We only have five pages. I'm just going through them to see if we have any more pages. Uh, there looks to be no other pages released. We do have a summary of the chapter. So apparently the chapter actually starts with a short flashback to Lucius, where he's looking at his siblings in the Spade Kingdom. There he sees a temple like a looking thing with a broken stone tablet the tablet apparently says follow the highest ranking devil astaroth of time magic and find the answer now obviously i have no idea what the fuck that even means uh it looks like lucius and julius have some inner dialogue with each other lucius says i've seen the true peace of this world using time magic i have seen the future we can create with undying bodies that thing dante was saying that he, he wants to recreate the world with undying bodies lucius has seen the future and they can achieve it at one point lucius also tells asta 
that uh, Lu Julius is dead. The Wizard King is dead. Julius had a mission for our ideals to understand sadness, hatred, dispute, no discrimination for the sake of true peace. And Lucius says he killed Julius. Uh, Oster ends the monologue with says, who's the floor idiot? Destroy all humans? The Wizard King put his life at stake to save everyone. The Wizard King wouldn't die so easily. easily. So right here, right now, I'll surpass the Wizard King and stop you. Dude, Austin versus Lucius next chapter is gonna be insane. Yo, what the fuck? But apparently, uh, Lucius also monologues and says he wants to destroy all of humanity and rebuild him with the magic of the siblings, and he wants to be the last Wizard King. Dude, as the last Wizard King, I feel like that should have been the title of the chapter the last wizard king that would have been really cool i i feel like that would have been really really cool now one thing that's very confusing to me he lucius goes don't worry i've seen it all already it's all according to my vision except for one thing you born without magic you're the flaw in this world and this is what i'm not understanding so if lucius has already used Osterov's time magic and seen every part of the future to reach his destination and exactly what he has to do to reach there so how did they beat lucifero how did they beat lucifero because lucius says i've seen it all all according to my vision except for one thing you you're the flow in this world so uh, lucius had already seen a world where he achieves his goal and everything he needs to get there and us is just this new variable so in in in, in a world without Asta, how did they beat lucifero now i'm not good with mathematics and i can't i can't explain time travel timelines and shit to you but the thing that lucia said here is very interesting i want to see what happens in the fan translations because how did they beat lucifero if he if he's already seen a world where they he achieves his dreams and everything he needs to do to get to that dream and then all of a sudden Asta's this flaw in the world that just shouldn't exist but Asta does exist and he doesn't know why how did they defeat Lucifero how did everyone get to where he needs them to be to achieve his dream to defeating Lucifero and to take Lucifero's heart so I'm a little confused on the whole timeline matter on what Lucius means exactly with I've seen the world it's all according to my vision the only one variable that shouldn't exist is you you're the flaw in this world I'm a little confused and I think a lot of us are too but I guess we'll just have to wait for Friday to see what the fuck Lucius is talking about guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get to 1000 fucking likes if you want to support the video be sure to click the join button be sure to donate as much money as you can fuck it why not donate me a thousand dollars buy me a coffee suck my dick if you want to this shaft is fucking hype i'm hyped i'm excited for friday more if anything no chapter next week i'm i'm, I'm crying my eyes out i guess we'll see each other in two weeks be sure to subscribe if you like the videos awesome new videos every single day every other day sorry Peace.